Really hope you're enjoying the coverage of the third division. A brilliant league, very, very competitive. A lot of high quality players, a lot of familiar players, familiar faces, familiar teams as well. A lot of players and teams which fans and followers of the top league in Germany, the Bundesliga, will recognize. It wasn't long ago, of course, that Ingolstadt themselves were up in that top division. It's the way it goes here in German football with promotion and relegation on offer every season. Fates can switch around rather quickly. It is a shame, not only for us watching, that Patrick Hasenhüttl isn't starting up front today for Unterhaking, their top scorer with five goals this season's injured. He's also, of course, the son of Ralf Hasenhüttl, Premier League manager of Southampton. The Austrian coach, famous, of course, for making his name at none other than Ingolstadt. But Hasenhüttl doesn't get the chance to face his dad's old side today, unfortunately. How big will that miss be for Unterhaching as they look to add to a slim tally of goals? First chance into the box here. This could be the opener fired over. Just one minute on the clock. And that turned into a massive chance. Came out of nowhere for Philip Bilbier. Good high ball. Nobody around Kuchka. Free to head it into the box. Bilbier battled with the defence to win it. Maybe he should have put that away, given Ingolstadt an early advantage here. Only two minutes played here at the Stadion am Sportpark in Unterhaching. It already looks as though Ingolstadt are really going for this one. They want to take command of the game. They don't want to slip up against opposition all the way down in 17th. Stroh Engel, number seven, veteran striker of 35 years of age, desperate for some goals today. Masaila alongside him up top for Unterhaching with three goals on the left winger. He's the second top scorer for Unterhaching this season. Oscar Heiler there. As you might be able to see on your screens, of course, doing the commentary for the television in Germany. My name's Tom Midler. You will be joining me for the rest of the game here on the English language stream in North America. Really nice to have your support for the German third division. Really nice that these games can be streamed on YouTube. First chance. Just looking for something to open up for Unterhaking, but it didn't work out. Ingolstadt come again. That's a good ball towards the box. Knocked back to Joe Coppins. Very confident on the ball, the Belgian goalkeeper. Solved his problems in the end. Cut back nicely. Bit of a risky approach, but it paid off. Ingolstadt once again winning back the ball quickly. Able to build forward. Slip from the defender. Volley wasn't clean. Kayubi with a second follow-up. That one was far cleaner. But wide of Joe Coppens' post. There's the first opportunity. Just sliced down into the box and cleared away. Kayubi caught it well. Couldn't get it on target. Stielen knocks it out to the right-hand side. Schwabel given away cheaply there, though. Ingolstadt looked for the long ball down the left-hand side. What kind of cross will come in? Stooping header, no contact made, and that will be a goal kick for the home side. Definitely promising signs, though. For Ingolstadt in these opening five minutes, some warning signs already for that man, Joe Coppins. 
Opposite number, Fabian Buntic. We've not really seen anything of the Ingolstadt goalkeeper so far. Unter hacking keeper in yellow. It's been by far the busier of the two in the opening five minutes. Nice powerful run forward though. And Marzaila knocked it off, tackled. Ingolstadt win it back. And Spach makes a chance to atone for his earlier error. Good shot coming in. Took a little deflection on its way. And just as I was saying that Fabian Buntic has had nothing to do. Lo and behold, not 20 seconds later, he's got to make his first save of the game. Not sure whether that was going in or not from Dominic Straw Engel, but there was no way that Fabian Buntic was taking the chance. No choice but to dive down to his left and tip that one away. Corner ball under hacking. Chance on the break, perhaps, for the white shirts of Ingolstadt. Little combination play. Ekade Jensa just lost the ball at the last moment. Dangerous counter. Dennis Ekade Jensa with five goals already this season. Just sniffing around the edge of the box looking for a sixth. Dispossessed at the crucial moment. Nice run from Kayubi. Tomborovka able to clear the danger for now though. Tobias Schruck knocking it around with Björn Paulsen. Paulsen, Kayubi, bad first touch. Got away with it though. Not a particularly accurate pass either. Michael Heinlott there to sweep it up. The number 17 in Ingolstadt. Keep hold of the ball for now. Ball just about stays in play. These were on the Ingolstadt left, but Unter Hacking have got it back, and that's a nice pass to start something off. Chance for the number 18 to burst forward. That's Nicholas Ansbach. Unter Hacking. Cross coming in, two attempts at the ball. Dominic Stroh Engel again, the number seven. Fires it over the crossbar. Might have taken a little touch off his teammate. Just confused Stroh Engel. 27 Heinrich there. Going for the first attempt, didn't catch it right. Stroh Engel looking straight down to his teammate. Blame it on the number 27 Moritz Heinrich. Stroh Engel looking a little bit confused. Good chances though. First little moment for Unter Hacking to show what they can do on the break. They might be struggling in the league table, but they certainly do possess some dangerous qualities of their own. Doesn't happen too often in this third division that a side gets really outclassed. It might be fourth against 17th today. Ingolstadt certainly the favourites, but right off unter hacking at your own peril. Just the six wins so far this season for Unterhaking. Ingolstadt with 10. That's a good ball into the box, headed away. Björn Paulsen, the experienced Danish defender, in the right place at the right time. Important ball win there in the midfield for Unterhaking. Long ball over into the penalty area, just drifted too far, and it's out of play. Thumbs up nonetheless from Marseille. It's kept in play by Kuchka. Stroh Engel keeping busy. 
Ingolstadt looking for the free kick, and they might have won it, you know. Jonas Wickenmeyer. Stroingel can't believe the decision that's gone against him from Wagenmeier. Just thought he was a bit overzealous going into the challenge. Just put a bit too much on it. Good first touch. Set it up for himself well. He didn't quite see the replay in time because here come Ingolstadt on the edge of the penalty area. Over hit pass out towards Kuczka, but he's kept it in play. Got to chip it back to his teammate. It's Michael Heinlott with the throw in into the penalty area. Flick on's won by Ingolstadt. Chance on the ball here. Kayubi and he's fired it into the bottom corner. What a feel good goal that is for the number 13, Kayubi. Out for such a long time with muscular problems. Back in the starting lineup today. It was a surprise from Thomas Oral when the Brazilian was picked in the starting 11. He said he's got to see if he's ready. And by lashing that one into the bottom corner with his left foot, Kayubi has proven that he's ready. Ingolstadt in front with 11 minutes on the clock. Talk about earning your place in the starting lineup. Kayubi has done just that with that goal, his first of the season. So Thomas Oral has had his selection of Kayubi rather vindicated today. But over on the other side, Arie van Lent just getting into a bit of trouble with Jonas Weikenmeier. Game's going to get restarted nonetheless. No cards shown. Just a talking to for Arie van Lent, but he will be frustrated. It was a bit of a controversial call against Dominic Strohengel. And all of a sudden, Ingolstadt used the free kick, went down the other end and scored. Bit of a blow for Unterhaking that falling behind already. Good pass. Unterhaking on the ball. Strohengel on the edge of the box. Didn't quite know what to do with it. Three white shirts around him all of a sudden. Looked like he was caught in two minds. Shoot or pass. Didn't really do either in the end. Comes back to Fabian Buntic in goal. Low ball forward. Does find a teammate. Given away quickly though. Good movement on the right. Ball coming in. Not accurate enough. Paulson sticks out a leg to get it away. Want to chase there. He's going to keep it in play, is he? The number 34. He does indeed. Nice run. Good tackle in the end. Dombrovka coming back to make the, uh, the tackle. And he really needed to make that challenge. Might have won the goal kick out of it as well. And he has. Dombrovka perfectly executed up against the youngster Merlin Röhl. Good run, though, from the 18-year-old. Showed his confidence with that. Willing to knock the ball forward and try and run around his opponent. Almost paid off for him. Masaela looking all the way back to Felix Gutler here. Another 18-year-old on the pitch today. Always a good league for young players. A third division in Germany. Ansbach. Out to Heinrich. Luka Mazaila. Goes for the through ball. Not a bad effort. Paulsen almost doing the splits in an effort to put that one away. Masaela. Difficult to get the ball down and under control at the moment for Unterhaking, but they've done it now. Masaela still turning. Brilliant footwork to wriggle away from those challenges, and he's whipped a ball into the middle. One for the defence to deal with. Kutzweg, I believe it was. With a bit of a difficult moment, but he did get it away. Both teams really trying to make things happen now. 
Interesting phase of the game as we tick towards 15 minutes. First quarter of an hour gone. Kajubi Kajubi cuts it out. Kajubi, the goal scorer, of course, just a few moments ago. Ruhl. Ingolstadt going backwards at the moment, winning the throw-in, though. Unter Hacking have upped the tempo since falling behind. Michael Heinlott once again with the throw in. That one's blocked immediately. Throwing comes back. And in fact, it will be a free kick given against Nicholas Ansbach. Just leaving his studs up. Got a clean block on the ball. You can't leave your studs out like that and expect to get away with it. Free kick from Ingolstadt. They go straight forward into the box. Cleared away. Not quite accurate enough, though, in the build-up. Buntic. One good save already today. To tip one behind. That's a long ball forward. Surely an offside flag, but nothing given. Shot comes in. It's deflected. It needs to be tipped over the crossbar. Good save, Joe Coppins. Great footwork. Shot came in. The deflection just lifted it higher. Dennis Eckert Ayensa, it was. Coppins had the ball in a rather central position. It's a save that he'd expect himself to make. He had to do it nicely, and it's always difficult dealing with a deflection like that. Could easily have looped up and over your Coppins into the net. Still danger, though, for Unterhacking. Defending to do from the corner. Stindera's ball comes in. Headed away at the front post. Röhl using his body really well to keep Ingolstadt in possession. Confident defending again from Michael Heinlott. Spreading the play out to the left-hand side. Onto hacking throw. Thrown forward. Looked like a free kick should have been given there for Ingolstadt. They didn't get it. They do get it eventually. A very different challenge. Heinrich, the player penalised for Unterhacking. Ball into the box. Still danger. Not a good clearance. Might be a shooting chance for Ingolstadt here. Eckert Ayensa still on the ball somehow with four players around him. Cleared away by Schwabel in the end. Ingolstadt moving joint top of the table as it stands in the live table. 38 points this would leave them with. Still plenty of time left until we're thinking about those three points going to Ingolstadt, of course. But that's what they want. That's what the away side are aiming for. 38 points as it stands would be enough to bring them level with Dynamo Dresden at the top of the table. Really nice and close up at the top of this third division table. 1860 Munich involved as well, of course. Plenty of teams fighting it out at the top. Ingolstadt, just one of them. Drew the last game against Halesha. Ingolstadt, bit of a catch-up game. That's a good ball down the right-hand side for Unterhacking. Chance to deliver into the middle. Cross just not quite good enough. Nicholas Stierlin is waiting in a good position for the cutback. 
Came towards him, but didn't quite reach its target. Good block there, though, from Fuchs. Marseille. Won the corner. Well done from the number 30, Luca Marseille. Heinlott stuck to the task. Couldn't keep the cross from at least going behind for this set piece for the home team. Plenty of players bundled together around about the penalty spot. The referee's going to stop this one and have a word with them. Corner comes in. It's high. One for the keeper, surely, and it is. Buntic claims it. A bit disappointing that from hacking. Mark Stendera lofts one forward. Is that offside? It is. Whistle's gone eventually. Ingolstadt happy to try that today. Confident of their aerial domination in the defence. Those Ingolstadt strikers looking lively, easy to get on the ball when they head it down and knock it down to each other as well as they have done in the opening 20 minutes. It's only happened a couple of times. They created some real dangerous moments already via those long balls knocked down. Bill Beer, number 35, of course, with a brilliant opportunity to open the scoring inside the first minute. Ball's won back nicely from Ingolstadt there. That's a good ball across. Bilbia. Can he make up for his earlier miss? Cuts back. Bilbia with time and space has the shot. Cleared away. Beaten the goalkeeper that one. Needed the defender to stick the foot out and clear it. Huge pressure on Unterhaking right now. Kurzvig. Haven't seen much of him today yet. Getting involved in this attack though, Kurzvig. Chance to loft one into the box, and he does so. Who's on the end of it? Not the cleanest piece of defending ever. But Unterhaking have got it away for now. Heinlott down the right-hand side. Röhl chasing it. Wins the throw-in. Here's a look at the chance again. Bilbia's shot. Doesn't look from that angle as if it was going in. Somewhere between a cross and a shot. Unter hacking defence. We're taking no risks. That one needed clearing. Good turn, Marseille. Goes all the way around, Kayubi. Lays it off to the left-hand side for Ansbach. Ball into the middle, headed down. Important save there. Buntic, still danger for Ingolstadt. Good touch there. Ingolstadt have control of the ball once again. Another flash of danger. Ingolstadt looking the more comfortable of the two sides. Generally in a bit more control when they go forward. But Unterhaking have had more than one opportunity now to strike back since Kayubi's opening goal. Buntic, with a couple of good saves to his name already. Chase on here. Ended by Felix Gütlicher. Haching whipped into the box. Stroh Engels header. Couldn't get it on target. But found Marseille instead. In the box. Marseille has a go. Where's the deflection going? Wide of the target. Another chance for Unter Haching. Marseille always looking dangerous in that final third. Ball in, deflected by the looks of it, off the first player in the white shirt of Ingolstadt. 
Alexander Fuchs chasing in. Couldn't get any control. The ball just ricocheted off the number 35 for Runter Hacking and went agonizingly wide. No fans here in the stadium, of course, to agonize over that moment. But there will be Unter Hacking fans watching with heads in hands at the moment. Two or three good chances now for them to level. Ingolstadt always looking dangerous when they go forward too. Interesting game here. Just over halfway through the first half. Plenty of opportunities. Good ball forward, Marseille. Doesn't quite get the chance to take a shot. Good long ball again this time from Ingolstadt. Looking to chase it down once more. It's Dennis Ickert, Ayensa. Inside to Kayubi. Referee allows things to carry on. Kurzweg. Ball zipped off the turf there when it bounced. Merlin Röhl didn't have a chance to keep it in. Strohengel must have thought about celebrating for half a second there. Dominic Strohengel battled his way into the area perfectly to win the header. Just couldn't beat the keeper, Fabian Buntic. Dritte Liga, unter anderem ja das Kellerduell, der Abstiegskracher kann man sagen, MSV Duisburg gegen den VfB Lübeck, dann schon ab 12.45, zwei super interessante Spiele, eben vor allem auch dann der Blick da in den Keller. Max Stenderer, again chipping a long one forward, and again creating a bit of danger, number 14, Felix Göttlicher had to come across, smash that clear and he's just looking around to the midfield saying where's the pressure? How are they giving up that much space to allow Ingolstadt time and time again to just bypass the midfield and play the ball straight into the penalty area? Corner ball. Mark Stendera, it will be the 25-year-old placing the ball down in the right-hand corner for Ingolstadt. Can he find a teammate in a white shirt? Players gathering in the six-yard box this time. Ball comes in front post, headed away, corner ball again. Looks very much like a planned tactic from Ingolstadt, that. Loading up the front post, full of bodies. Floating the ball in there. Needed a good clearance. Gone for a different lineup this time. Further out. Chance for players to run in and attack this. And that's what they will do. Hits the first man, though. Disappointing. Stierlin gets it away only as far as Heinlot though. Just let that one run over a little bit. Haching with a chance to get it further away. Well left. Björn Paulsen. English chat throw. An attempt there to head that back towards the captain, Stefan Kuczka. Too many red shirts around it. Hacking. Bring it away. Simple passing at the moment. If that's what it takes to start building something, then that's what Hacking need to do. Fuchs, er wiederum mit 1860 und Nürnberger Vergangenheit. Also auch viel im bayerischen Raum. Dombrovka waiting for it on the left. Doesn't come to him, though. Come backwards instead. 
Fuchs taking the safe option for now. Hacking. Just looking to stay on the ball. Kraushopf. Goes forward, turns back again. Alexander Fuchs. Very patient play this from Unter Hacking. Alexander Fuchs again. Into Nicholas Stierlin. Paul Grauschopf. Nothing opening up yet. Four into hacking. They're still giving it a go. That was lofted into the box. Needs a header from the defence. Referee says no there as Dominic Stroh Engel goes down looking for the penalty. All heads straight away turn towards Jonas Weikenmeier. I'm sure we'll see that one again. The ball had to be cleared away by the header. That gave Dominic Stroh Engel a chance to just run in and try and win the first ball down. Maybe he was looking for the penalty. Did go down rather easily. And the free kicks are not going Dominic Stroh Engel's way at the moment. And you can see he's frustrated with that. Another one going against the number seven of Unterhaking. Here's the penalty claim. Hardly any contact in reality from Merlin Röhl. But I've seen them given. You can say that. Probably the right decision from Jonas Weigenmeier. But Unterhaking will add it to their list of grievances in this first half. Chance for Marcus Schwabo to bring the ball forward on the right-hand side. High ball into the box. Players underneath it. Headed over. Looks like it could have been a corner. Marseille attacked it. Referee says Marseille it was. He got the head on it. Good effort. Creating a chance like that from very little. It was a really good delivery in by Marcus Schwabel on the unterhacking right. Ingolstadt leading, but certainly not having everything their own way here at the Sportpark unterhacking. We'll put out a play by Stefan Kuczke. Kayubi, good header forward. Only into hacking defenders there, waiting for it though. Chance again for Marcus Schwabo to get forward down the right hand side. Looks back this time instead. Not so many options open for the 30 year old at this point. Dombrovka goes inside. That one's given away though. Free kick goes the way of Merlin Röhl. Plenty of sound from the bench. Player's not happy with that. Coach is not happy either. Stierlin just sliding over the top of the toes of Merlin Röhl. That'll be a tough one. It's a painful one. Niklas Stierlin in the book after 33 minutes. What can Ingolstadt do then with this set piece? A little over 10 minutes to go in the first 45. It's been a pulsating encounter. Big chances at both ends. Just the one goal, as you can see from the scoreboard, and it has gone to the team nearer the top of the table. Ingolstadt into hacking on their way to eight games without a win. Really barren spell this, a really difficult spell for Agia van Lent and his Unterhaching side. They've certainly not been outclassed in this first half. They've really stood up well and could easily have been on the score sheet. Fuchs putting one narrowly wide. Stroh Engel going close on a couple of occasions as well. 
But onto hacking with no way through so far. Given away quickly by Ingolstadt. Back with Kayubi though, all of a sudden. Heinlott. Good ball down the right-hand side for Röhl to chase. Kyle Schopf with some defending to do. Goes back to the keeper who was marked up a little bit. Underhacking do well to work it out. Raya Dombrovka and a couple of well-placed passes. Dombrovka again. Fuchs. Natürlich dann auch ein logisches Produkt, wenn da die Ingolstädter gegen den Ball sehr gut stehen, Druck machen auf den Ball führenden Hachinger. Paul Grauschopf. This time it's Ingolstadt who have to defend against a long ball over the top. Stroh Engel again lurking. He'll be desperate to get on the score sheet. After a couple of chances have just gone against him in this first half. Buntic it is at the moment though. With the ball in his hands, able to kick it away all the way downfield for Ingolstadt. Good header in there. Doesn't come to anything at the moment for Unterhacking. Ingolstadt back on the ball. Plenty of white shirts further forward. Paulsen. Schreck. All the way back to Buntic. Palsen again. Good pressure that from Luka Mazaila. Doesn't really end up with anything at the moment, but it did force the goalkeeper to give the ball away. Yet again, though. It's happened so many times in this game. As soon as Ingolstadt give the ball away, Unter Hacking rather charitably give it back to them. Allowing Ingolstadt to get away with a few little mistakes in their build up play. Good run, Heinlott. Good ball into the box as well, headed away. Ingolstadt still on it. Not any longer. Once again, Ingolstadt give the ball away and receive it back. Gift wraps just seconds later. That's a problem for Arya van Lent to deal with in the half time break. Still plenty of play time before then, though. Just over seven minutes of normal time remaining. We might see an extra 30 seconds or so for the goal from Kayubi. Not too many other stoppages. Good ball into the box. Headed away. Player down, though. Referee's got that one stopped. Player holding his head. What happened here then with Stefan Kuczka? Just looked to me as if Felix Gutlicher headed into the back of Stefan Kuczka. Didn't look to be too much wrong, wrong with what the number 30 Kuczka did. The referee was making signs with his arms as though Kuczka had leaned in with an elbow, but he certainly hadn't. Just a painful one there for Felix Gutlicher heading into the back of Stefan Kuczka's head. Done a good job today, Gutlicher. Young defender with experience at other clubs in Bavaria. Augsburg youths. Bayern youth as well. Now here he is at Unterhaching, and they'll be keen to see him come back onto the playing field as soon as possible. Sums up into hacking a little bit what we've seen in these first 40 minutes. In general, their defending's not been too bad this season. It's not like they ship goals regularly. They just concede a few too many. And when you struggle to get goals in at the other end, even conceding one or two can become a big, big problem 
That's why onto hacking it down at the bottom. That's why they're losing today as well. Three good chances and make it now already in the first 40 minutes for Unter Hacking. And yet, despite what has been a fairly even game, Ingolstadt have the lead. Home side with the ball in the final third again, just outside the penalty area. That one might drift out for a corner ball, and it does. Still five minutes left for Unterhacking to get something from this first half. Stiel in on the yellow card. He's waiting in the box with several teammates. Göttlicher back on the field as well. In the corner comes in high. Keeper's not coming for this one. Needs to be defended. And it is. Ingolstadt winning the first and second balls and putting themselves in a bit of danger with that loose ball back. And look at the pressure from Ingolstadt there. Waiting to pounce on any mistakes. Waiting to pounce on a short back pass. In the end, Marcus Schwabel gets the ball out of play. Wins it into hacking throw as well for his troubles. Schwabel's throw. Paulson lofted up into the air. Nice little touch from Luka Marseille. Bit of trick football, but it's given away. Ingolstadt with a man over on the right-hand side. They don't use him, though. Heinlott goes backwards. Stendera whips out. It might go a bit too far. Not sure if he kept that in, but if he did, it's a dangerous one for Unterhacking. Free kick goes against the away side. Defensive free kick. Rye smile from Stefan Kuczke. He's not happy with the decision. Good effort by Ingolstadt, though. Not giving up on that ball. Looks as if it was going to drift out of play for a goal kick. Got it high up into the area. Always just asking one more question of Unterhaking. down the right-hand side. Throw in for the home side. Some reward for their efforts here. But they'll need to get themselves on the scoreboard. They'll be keen to do it before the break. Certainly wouldn't be an unjust scoreline, 1-1 at the interval. Good touch. Tried to release Luka Mazaila, but it was too far in front of him. Just not quite the right pass on that occasion. Header flicked on. Defended nicely, but given away cheaply on the edge of the area. Ingolstadt with a chance here at the end of the first half. The shot's going to come in. It bobbled up. Fired over the bar. Dennis Eckert, Ayensa it was. A 24-year-old. Stierlin gave it away cheaply. You don't want to be giving Dennis Eckert, Ayensa the ball at that position on the pitch if you can help it. Found himself a bit of room to shoot. But the bobbling, bouncing ball was always going to be difficult to keep down. Eckert Ayensa could only fire over the bar. Hacking throw. Straight back to Ingolstadt, though. Putting themselves under pressure at the moment. Under hacking. Kuczka, will he unleash a shot? He will. It's blocked. Out on the left-hand side now. Might be a chance for the one-two. Ingolstadt go all the way back instead. Just about 30 seconds remaining of normal time in this first half. Ingolstadt finishing it off strongly. No free kick. Referee gets out of the way. Kayubi gets the ball back quickly, though. Again, Unterhacking not able to keep possession after they win it. 
Good movement from Kurzweg into the box. Turning. Shot coming in. Bielbier it was. Went close at the very start of the first half. And he's gone close again. Too many unter hacking shirts around him to cause any danger on that occasion. So that's the 45. Referee Jonas Eichenmeyer just allowing time to run over a little bit. Not expecting more than a minute of stoppages here at the Stadion Am Sport Park in Unterhaking. Chance to whip one into the boxes there. Did that hit a hand? No appeals, but Marsala again with some good footwork. Dangerous ball in. Nobody to attack it in the centre. Unterhaking still have it. Shot comes in low. It's deflected. Big, big chance for Unterhaking. Still not dead. The ball still alive and another shot coming in. Corner ball, Unterhaking. Is the time to even play it. Unterhaking are going to have to take this one quickly. But they've had a few chances now in the first half and there was a series of other chances. <laughs> Unbelievable how that stayed out. Bouncing around, plenty of red shirts taking shots. White shirts always in the way. Combination of defender and goalkeeper. And eventually, the shot lifted over with a deflection. Corner ball. Unterhacking with another shooting chance. It comes in low. Kayubi blocks it. Another shot into the hands of Fabian Buntic. What a brilliant end that was to the first half. Chances for Ingolstadt. Chances for Unterhacking as well. It's been a pulsating encounter here in the first 45 at Stadion Am Sport Park in Unterhacking. But on match day 22, at half time. It's gone with the form table. Unterhacking nil. Ingolstadt won. Kayubi back in the starting lineup for Ingolstadt after a long time out. He got the only goal after 11 minutes, but there have been chances aplenty for both sides. That man, Dominic Stroh Engel, going close on several occasions. Bill Beer going close as well for Ingolstadt, but just the one goal at half time. I'm looking forward to getting back with you for the second half in just a few moments from Unterhacking. So we're back here in the second half for this Bavarian derby at the Stadion and Sportpark in Unterhaching. The home side Unterhaching staring down the barrel of a 13th defeat of the season at the moment. Really interesting, really exciting first half. Making a change as well. Stierlin going off. Did have a yellow card in the first half, Stierlin. Felix Schröter coming on. Trying to bolster the attack for a side which, understandably, are in need of goals right now under hacking. It would be eight games without a win for the second time this season if they can't turn it around here. They definitely showed signs in the first half that they've got goals in them. It was a really good first half. That was a hefty collision involving Kayubi. Referee Vaken Myers let it go though. Allowed Ingolstadt to carry on. Kutschke, top scorer of Ingolstadt. We didn't see that much of him in the first half. Stefan Kutschke. Schwabe, number 23, the captain of Unterhaking. Not happy with the decision there. And you can see there was very little contact in the challenge. Hard to see exactly from that angle. The referee Jonas Weikenmeyer. It's given the free kick Ingolstadt's way. Dangerous one for the home side to defend. Ingolstadt at the moment on course for an 11th win of the season. They haven't won that many times away from home. There was hope for Unterhaking before this one. Unterhaking 11th in the home table. Ingolstadt 12th in the away table. Ball in. Kayubi with the header again. Where's that going? Bouncing off bodies in red shirts. Cleared away. Luka Marzaila down in the box. Kayubi not too far away from his second goal of the day and second goal of the season. Player down in the box was Marzaila. Ended up hitting him on the back before being volleyed to safety. Kayubi did well to steer that. In the end, cleared by the Unterhaking defence. They've got a defender corner though. Marzaila back on his feet. Still hobbling in the box. We saw this in the first half. Ingolstadt crowding the front post. 
It did create problems. Interesting little variation of that corner. It's not cleared brilliantly. It has to be said. Bit of head tennis with himself. And then cleared away. Ingolstadt come again. That clearance is rather more effective. Hacking. Winning the free kick. Yellow card given against Kuchka. Looked like he got the ball. They certainly thought so. Very hard to see from that angle. The end result is all that counts. Kuchka's gone into the book. Sixth yellow of the season for the top scorer of Ingolstadt. And that's given away cheaply and it could be a one-on-one -on -one out of nowhere. Big first touch. Will the keeper be able to come and get it? He will. Head in hands for Dennis Eckert A.N. So what a huge chance that was for Ingolstadt at the beginning of the second period. A gift for Dennis Eckert A.N. Keen to take the big first touch to get away from the defence. Overrun it. Credit to your Coppens in the Unterhaking goal. He was there to rush out and smother the ball. Sure, we'll see that one again. In the meantime, Unterhaking down the other end, have a corner. The game continues rather where it left off in the first half. It was a really exciting first half. Only one goal from Kayubi after 11 minutes. And there is Kayubi again, clearing the corner this time. Gets the second one as well. Volleys it away to safety. Kayubi scored after 11 minutes, but Ingolstadt, in fact, could have had the first goal after just 80 seconds or so. And that set the tone for the game. Chance after chance after chance. Ingolstadt with several. Dennis Eckert Ayens has gone close. Listen to the sidelines here. Intensity and emotions in this game for both sides now. Both sides, of course, in desperate need for three points. Ball's whipped in. Headed over by the substitute, Felix Schroeter. First little bit of action there for the number 29. Alex Stroh Engel has gone close for Unterhaching. Fuchs has gone close for Unterhaching. Marseille has gone close. They laid siege to the Ingolstadt goal in injury time at the end of the first period. But no way through at the moment for Unterhaking. Stuck in the relegation zone <laughs> with some real work to do in the second half. Not been a bad performance. But they need results. No wins in their last seven games. That is a damning statistic against Unterhaking. They've shown what a tough side they are today. But if they don't get a goal in the next 40 minutes or so, their troubles will continue. Kayubi brings it down. Strong work on the Ingolstadt left. Schwabel, after a little high five with the opposition coach a minute ago, Schwabel makes the clearance. Does really well to get in the way of that. Oh, not on the same wavelength. The hacking attackers. Jan Paulsen has a chance to bring it forward. Free kick against Alexander Fuchs. Still a very engaging game, this. For a side up at the top of the table in the form of Ingolstadt and a side down at the bottom. Unter hacking it has been incredibly evenly matched. Both teams throwing everything into their challenges. Both teams putting their all into their attacking and defending as well. Paulson's knocked down. Oh, just a bit of hesitation there. Dennis Eckert Ayensa. He's had several chances to match Stefan Kuczka's six goals this season. He's got five at the moment. And there was another half chance. Just hesitated for a second, Dennis Eckert Ayensa. 
misread the bounce and the chance had gone just as quickly, quickly it is, as it had appeared. Good speak. Goes backwards. Keeper Buntic goes long. Can you beat? Score of what could prove to be the winner. Plenty of time left. And if it's anything to go by what we've seen so far, there will be plenty more chances in this game. You can count on that. Neither side will be sitting back on what they've got so far. Good turnover from Unterhaking. Stroh Engel, not really a brilliant ball, didn't really help his teammates or give them any momentum. And that's allowed Ingolstadt to cut it out. End to end stuff this. Onside, Dennis Ekaday ends up. But the ball just didn't want to stay in play. Well, he must be wondering what he has to do to get on the score sheet today, I answer. Throw in for the home side. Masaila, always one of the most impressive players for Unterhaking on the pitch today. Won the flick on, but there was no one else there. Defending to do for Unterhaking. They've taken a touch. It will be an Ingolstadt corner. The afters in this for Kuchke. He's got to be careful on a yellow card. Just bounced up onto the knee of Gutlicher. Vilbia, uh, Palsen, Kayubi, Ikat Ayensa. All players lining up in the box. Looking to get on the end of it, but who will it be? It will be the Unterhacking defence. Big, powerful header away. Can they build something this time? But if shirt tugging was there, nothing given. Ball blocked. Unterhacking still have it. Taking the pace out of their attack. They played it nicely over to Schwabel. Playing with those new teeth today, Schwabel, after losing his two front teeth against Lübeck. Painful loss in more ways than one, losing against their direct relegation rivals. They've really given themselves a good showing here today onto hacking. Couldn't begrudge them a goal in terms of what they deserve. They've got to go and find one. Find a way to beat Fabian Buntic in the Ingolstadt goal, and that won't be easy. Chip ball forward. Free kick given. Schwabel in the book for the trip. On Ekade Ayensa. Just at the top right of your screen there, you can see. Puts his hands up straight away, but the two contrasting runs just overlapped. Clipped the back of the number seven, Dennis Ekadayensa. Sent him crashing to the ground. And giving Ingolstadt a chance with this set piece. Mark Stender curls it in. Good ball headed over onto the roof of the net from the number 21, Tobias Schuck. Not far away from getting a goal, the centre back. Don't always see him up there, but that's a good run. Found a bit of space against Schwabel. Couldn't attack the header well enough to get it down. Kayubi. <laughs> Bit of a shot, soft ball from Kayubi. Ended that back with Unterhaking. Your Coppens. Again, Coppens showing a lot of confidence on the ball, surrounded by two players. We shouldn't forget that Joe Coppens has only played a couple of games for Interhacking this season. Interhacking just cashed in by selling their regular goalkeeper Nico Mantel, just a youngster, to Red Bull Salzburg in Austria for €2 million. Euros. It's a decent sale for Interhacking, brings a bit of money in. But Joe Coppens, 30 year old Belgian goalkeeper, stood in and he's done well. Really confident on the ball a couple of times now. Happy 
to cut inside, show a bit of trickery and good footwork to get away. That might help under hacking, that kind of confidence, that kind of composure. Difficult to play like that when you're down in the relegation zone. That's whipped into the penalty area. Good ball. Headed up, but not too far away. <coughs> that time it is cleared further. But Felix Gutlich has it back for into hacking. Very hard to say who you'd expect to get the next goal. Both teams leaving themselves open at the back in the pursuit of attacking potential. Into hacking with just a few more unforced errors, you'd say, in the midfield. And the visitors. Nolstadt looking a little bit more solid. Into hacking really have to create. They're going to go forward. They've got to earn every bit of it, where they have gifted a few chances to Ingolstadt. No mistake about it, though. Anybody's game this. Karlshop for number 25 whips that one away but only as far as Kayubi that one's up high towards the penalty area Karlshop watches that one really well to volley that over his own shoulder Și tragem linie. Și ușor, ușor. Din păcate, practic, aceste 4-5 etape ar fi fost ca niște meciuri amicale într-un ciclu complet de pregătire. Eu cunosc jucătorii pe parcurs, îi văd la antrenamente, nu există, că practic facem doar refacere, meci, refacere, meci, refacere, meci, un ciclu. English to have it back in the box. That was a nasty clash of heads there. A bit surprised that Jonas Wagner hasn't stopped play yet. That was right in front of him. Now it stopped. I would have thought that Wagner would have stopped that one straight away. Ball wasn't in too dangerous a position. Both players went in to go for it with their heads. Pretty nasty one. Ați remizat astăzi cu fostul coleg de la Rapid. Urmează acum întâlnirea cu Astra. Va fi așa special duelul? Both players. Nu, nu e nicio întâlnire specială. Totul este trecut. Looking okay, thankfully. Trebuie să îl pregătim bine, să ajungem bine la ora jocului. Întâlnim o echipă foarte bine organizată, cu jucători de calitate foarte bună pe fază ofensivă și va fi un meci foarte dificil. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc și eu la revedere. Multe bani. La conferința de presă, da? Cu doamna Astra. Kutlicha, ball into the centre, still plenty of pressure from Ingolstadt, not much space on the ball for Unterhaking but they've worked it well down the right hand side there, good little pass, just took a nick off a defender, would have been a good opportunity to get into the box that for Unterhaking. Once again, Stefan Kuczka, the number 30 for Ingolstadt, just turns around. Game's not quite gone the way that he would have wanted. But of course, he'll be happy that his team are winning. But you'd expect Stefan Kuczka to have had a few more chances than this. Struggling to get his way through at the moment. Three assists this season. And six goals for the 32-year-old centre-forward. But it's defending at the moment that Ingolstadt have to do. Fuchs. Good turn this. Will there be a shot? There will. Another foot stuck out to block that one. Seen that several times already. A lot of these shots making their way through several players and that one is flicked on and gathered by Fabian Buntic. Another good spell this for them to hacking and another good header from Dominic Strohengel. Couldn't get the enough. They required power or placement to beat the goalkeeper. Not quite enough of either. But another one on target. Quite time, Rick, it was. With the original shot that was blocked. But you certainly can't look at the scoreboard and say 1-0 to Ingolstadt and that they haven't had to defend for that because they really have had to. Worked hard at both ends today, Ingolstadt. What do I want to say? I would like to not get it. 
cel puțin în al doilea gol. Primul se poate întâmpla fost o execuție frumoasă, dar al doilea probabil că nu play to get out of a tight space. Schwabel's ball. It's a low one, but it's a good one. You can see there on the table, the Ingolstadt are joint top as it stands, if they can hold on to this. A move ahead of 1860 Munich. They'll be level with Dresden. They've played one game fewer. Free kick's gone against Luka Marzaila. He's complained his way into the book there, Marzaila, as well. The referee wasn't happy with his reaction. Frustrating for the number 30. Felt that he didn't do anything wrong. Free kick was given straight away. Pain on the face of Nicholas Ansbach as well. The number 18, they both disagree strongly with Jonas Weigenmeyer's decision. In the end, all that counts is that Luka Marsaila is in the book. Hello, English? Long ball towards Kuchka. No, English, English. English. Hacking throw. did allude to it in the first half. There's a big difference between the home and away form of Ingolstadt. As you've seen the table just then, they're all the way up at the top, joint top in the moment. Top of the home form table, but only 12th in the away table. And with the fight, uh, the pitch was a little bit heavy. And um, they managed to score with a free kick and uh, one... Uh, bit of a contentious free kick given against Moritz Heinrich. Yeah, yeah that's his football. The Ingolstadt free kick, they chance to whip to one back. into the area. They're but moving uh, bodies the forward. We didn't lose the whip game. one into the area, they, they do, point, but it's far too uh, close to your Coppens in goal. Go Nobody else in the, the area. And try to get the point back. It's difficult for you to play so many games and, and hacking down the left hand side. Players because many Fuchs of them in the middle. Are, uh, are having yeah, COVID. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have too many cases of COVID. And uh, he goes forward. This period and the same player can get it back here. The number 14 and the second half, you can feel the some Good ball into a bit of space uh, outside the D. And, uh, that can, that was a nice some, idea. The link up there, to affect the team. Not it's Heinrich, but, uh, as we say, we are professional. We are spotting the ball it's, forward. Uh, his teammate point. was not quite and, uh, on the same wavelength. Head up and uh, keep moving forward. It is uh, difficult for you without uh, Leo Grozavo because he knows how to give you motivation, how to encourage you. Oh yeah, it's always uh, uh, difficult. We when uh, if you have the main coach with you, he's uh, something motivating. Take a look at the yeah. bottom of the table. But, um, you can see how close it is down there, there and how costly that loss was. As, and, uh, as recently as Wednesday, is, uh, the coach will come Lubeck. Back and, uh, Few will All come the way down in 19th, and, uh, defeating we'll Unterhaching, who are 17th. Win the, the next game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Free kick's gone against Kayubi there, I believe. Penalised for pulling down Dominic Strohengel. Good little battle between them. Uh, Hufnagel has made his way onto the pitch. So number 18 going off, Nicholas Ansbach. Lucas Hufnagel, half Georgian, half German. Number 10 has made his way on. Jonas Weikenmeyer just trying to calm things down on the home bench. Can't see exactly what's going on. They have become a bit restless and who can blame them? 25 minutes or so left in the game. Unterhaking trailing again. Kayubi heads that one away simply. Fuchs's ball in was not good enough. Unterhaking still have it though. Schwabert. <laughs> Chips that one down into the area. Good ball. Marsaila does well. Schwabel again. High into the area. Who's on the end of it? Big chance for the number 30. Luca Marsaila. Couldn't get it on target.
Plenty of people expecting the direct header on goal there, but it was back across in the direction of Luka Masaila. Tobias Schroek, the defender, looking for the offside. No flag was given, and Luka Masaila, you can tell by the look on his face, he knew if he'd have got that on target, it would have counted. Yellow card, brandished against Gutlich, yeah. Weigenmeier getting his card out on several occasions in this second half. Might well be getting dangerous in 20 minutes or so, if we've still got a full complement of players. Gutlich, yeah. Almost like an NFL holding penalty, that one. His opponent was trying to wriggle his way away from him. Kutlich just wouldn't let go. Chindiaga and Kayubi standing over the free kick. This one's in a good position for a direct shot on target. Coppens lines up his wall. Kayubi not allowed to stand in the wall. Kian Palsen telling Stendera where to put it. He does get it on target, but straight into the arms of Joe Coppens. Easy save for the keeper. His distribution is right on target. One for Schröter to chase. Substitute the number 29, can't get on the end of it. Clash there. That might be another yellow card for Jonas Wagenmeier to brandish. Not on this occasion. The player who was fouled. He fouled several times today. Max Tambrovka survived without a yellow card for now. The time is starting to tick away. Still a really exciting and interesting encounter here. Unterhacking nil, Ingolstadt one into the 70th minute, 20 or so minutes of normal time to go, plus a bit of injury time too. The referee spent a bit of time talking to the benches, talking to the coaches, trying to calm people down. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a bit of injury time play for that. But no need to think about that just yet. Still plenty of normal time left as well. Several chances falling to both sides in this game. Bit of trouble for the goalkeeper that time, Coppens. Hits the ground, but no free kick. Played himself into trouble there, stood on the ball. I mentioned a few times that he's had the confidence and composure to use his footwork. Well, it only looks good when it works. When you're the goalkeeper, especially near the bottom of the table. But this is a good bit of play on the right. Schmabel's ball in high into the area. It's going to be an easy claim for Fabian Buntic. Well won back there by the number 27. Still going. Schwabel. Fuchs now. Into the D. Looking for the 1-2. A quick pass. Not accurate enough. Fuchs challenging hard to win that back. And he does that really well. Referee says ball was won. Big chance for Ingolstadt on the break. Ball down the right-hand side. Kuczka in the middle, he's not had many chances today. Will he have a chance to shoot this time? Looks backwards instead. Stendera, well wide, never got his foot around it. Good break for Ingolstadt. Never came to the right conclusion for the away side. to hacking and the coach Ariel van Lent will definitely be feeling like there's still something to be gained from this match Ingolstadt have the lead but they've been unable to pull away and hacking 
have had several chances to level things. Will they get another one here? Ball out to the left from Stroh Engel. It's delivered back into the box. Schröter was there, but it's headed away by the Ingolstadt defence instead. Looking to break now. Not going to be easy from that position. That's well won back by the home side. Unter hacking back on the ball straight away. Much more like it for the home team. Really putting up a good fight in this match. Might be the underdogs when you look at the league table. But they're giving as good as they get. Ball into the box. Miscontrolled straight out of play. But a frustration for Unter hacking. Bit of pressure relief for Ingolstadt. There's a look at Fuchs. Scraped both knees. Just a little measure as to the effort that he's putting in to win that ball back. Substitution from Thomas Orgel on his Ingolstadt side. First change. It's Philip Bilbia making his way off. Big chance to score inside two minutes. Philip Bilbia. He's replaced by Kanija Elva. This was Bill Beer's chance. The player who's just gone off 80 seconds into the game. Didn't get a better moment than that. Kanija Elva. Half Canadian. St. Lucian. 24-year-old Kanija Elva. Been a good player this season. A couple of assists to his name. Two assists, two goals, in fact, for Ingolstadt. Shown his qualities. And got some scoring points as well. Elva is just the kind of player you want to be able to bring on at this point of the game where players are starting to tie it. And here is one for Elva to chase. Coppens <laughs> needed to stick out his hands really high there. Used his advantage to win the ball off the head of Kanija Elva. Interesting little passage of play that. Your Coppens, the goalkeeper, ended up on the right side. And to hacking, have the ball away. Hacking again patient on the ball in defence. They need something to open up for them. A lot of challenges. Plenty of tempo in this game. But that just makes the time Feel like it's whizzing by for into hacking. Good header, but it's picked up by the into hacking attack still. Given away. Ingolstadt can't keep it though. Stindera inside. Players down on the ground. It's a misplaced pass. Somebody would have put the ball out of play soon enough anyway. Is everyone back to their feet? Looks like they are. But to hacking, carrying on. Schmabel, surely the intended target. It is Schmabel. What can he do to get one into the box? It's a curling delivery. It's a good delivery. Headed behind. No other option there for the number 21 to be a Schuck. Might have wanted to head that a bit further away from his own goal. With Dominic Strohengel there. Couldn't afford to do anything else. Cross comes in from the corner. Headed deep over the bar. Bit of a dangerous moment for a split second there in the Ingolstadt defence. Dombrovka it was. Just trying to steer the corner back. It was a little bit overhit the corner. Dombrovka aims to get it back into the danger area. Might have inadvertently... Put it in a dangerous position if that one had dropped underneath the crossbar. Fortunately for this man here in green, Fabian Buncic, it did not do that. Drifted harmlessly onto the top of the roof of the net. And Buncic gets the chance to clear it. A really good game, this. Still life in it for both teams. Still chances in it for both teams to go forward and score. Unterhacking need the goal more. Ingolstadt don't have to risk everything. But they're certainly not looking safe with just a solitary goal as their advantage. 
Thomas Orel on the sidelines for Ingolstadt would feel a whole lot better if they could double their lead. Might be enough at this stage, you'd think, if Ingolstadt are the next to score. Interesting to know what Unterhacking would make of this if they could battle their way back to 1-1. A draw would be very hard earned for them. It would be a deserved point in the eyes of many, I'm sure. But it still would mean that they're without a win in eight games. It's lofted forward. Paulsen under pressure, heading it across the defence. Kutzvig goes backwards. Kanija, the substitute. Good feet from Kanija, and he's got the ball back as well. Couldn't quite win that one. But the advantage goes all the way back. You can see what the number 27, Moritz Heinrich, thinks of that. Hufnagel not too impressed either. It was a nice, generous advantage played by Jonas Wagenmeier. Let play go on for quite a few seconds before Kanija Elva lost the ball. Goal scorer Kayubi. One of several players going off. It's like a triple change for Ingolstadt. And there's a look at the only goal so far from that man, the number 13, Kayubi. Lashed it home into the bottom corner with his left foot. Niskanen. Finnish player coming on. Röhl has done a good job today, the youngster. Merlin Röhl, the 18-year-old. He's gone off. Kaya coming on as well. Eket Ayensa. So many chances to get his name on the score sheet. Couldn't do it. Kanija Elva. Kurzweig. It's like a fairly attacking change from Ingolstadt, it must be said. Thomas Oral must know that Unterhaking are going to have to risk it. They're going to have to leave gaps. They're going to have to go forward and push forward. He's brought on the players to try and exploit the space that Unterhaking are going to leave. Will it pay off for them? Ball out wide. Marcus Schwabel. Low ball into the box. Cut out well by the Ingolstadt defence. Not an easy job. Schwabel. Takes the throw in quickly. On to hacking throw again. Not giving up on this. Far from it. Another chance for Schwabel to whip one into the box, and he does so. Where's that going to fall? Nowhere good. Dombrovka it was. Again, getting his head on the end of a low cross, and a long cross, sorry. But can't quite make it work. Yellow card against Stor Engel for his complaints. Turned into a little bit of a bad tempered game, this. Jonas Weikenmaier doing his best to lead the game. But he's had to reach for his pocket several times in this second half. Red card as well for the president of Unterhacking. We did see him on the sidelines earlier being sent from the bench into the stands. Six cards in total in the second half. Will we still have a full complement of players on the pitch by the end? Still 
Unterhaken come forward. Desperate to get something out of this one. Schwabel. It's flicked on in the box by Strohengel. Schröter's there, but it's whacked clear up into the air. Still not far out, though. Unterhaken still on the ball with Dombrovka. He's got his back to goal, though. He's got to go backwards, Dombrovka. Decent pressure from Ingolstadt, forcing the ball all the way back to your Coppens. Fuchs. Really interesting tactical battle that this has developed into. Chance after chance in the first half. Still plenty of chances at the beginning of the second. Now the game has turned into this tactical encounter. What's left in it? That's a wasted ball forward. Frustration for Unterhaking. Frustration for the home side. Göttlicher just sliding it off his laces all the way out of play. Kanija Elva fights well, but Unterhaken come away with the ball. No free kick given. One back by Stroh Engel. Turned over again by Kanija Elva. Fierce battle this in the midfield. Schwabel it is who gets it restarted as quickly as possible. All the way back to your Coppins. And that time you can't do anything good with it. Straight out of play. Cheap giveaway. The pressure from Kaya paid off. It's Peter Kurzweg. Goes for the long throw in into the box. Flicked on. Kaya. Lofted out to the right-hand side. It was a nice idea, actually. Looked like he'd played it to nowhere. But he gave his teammates a chance to get forward and get on to the end of it. And they did. And they get it into the box. Niskanen, the Finnish international, doesn't get the right shot on the ball. Hasn't quite played his way up to speed yet, Niskanen. Fuchs. With a bit of a grimace as he gets back to his feet. And he's going to... Well, free kick could have gone against Fuchs for putting his hand on the ball, but he went against Nieskanen instead. Here is Fuchs back on the ball. Into the Ingolstadt half. Pass out to the left. Ball in, blocked immediately. Five minutes of normal time remaining. Last chance saloon almost for Unterhaking. If they're to get something out of this game, a point... Wouldn't do a great deal of good for either side, but Unterhaking would certainly take it at the moment. Would be two points dropped for Ingolstadt, of course, given the difference in position in the table. Ingolstadt going in fourth, Unterhaking going in 17th, with 12 defeats to their name. Schmabel penalised for the free kick, and a foul down by the corner flag. No second yellow, though. It's headed on Kaya. Had a chance to pick it up. Couldn't come away with it. But Kaya might come out with it this time. He does. Niskanen's in the box. Niskanen's there. Tries to steer it. Doesn't get the right contact. Just slots it all the way across the face of goal. Ingolstadt. Just not being able to kill off the game at the moment. There's another chance coming in with the low shot. Players are either getting in each other's way a little bit. Kaya putting his hands out saying, why didn't we leave it? Throw in to Ingolstadt. Intensity just building still here. No free kick given. Number 27, Heinrich, went to the ground. Wanted the free kick. Didn't get it.
Last few minutes now for Unterhacking. Still alive in this game. Long ball forward. Straw Engel can't get onto the end of it. That's bounced through everyone. Not exactly what you want in the Ingolstadt defence. But luckily for them, there was nobody there to take advantage. You can hear the shouts audibly getting louder from the sidelines as both teams know this one's getting close to its conclusion. Unterhacking. Desperate to pick up the point that they probably deserve. Ingolstadt really need the three points to push back into the top three. Keep pace with the promotion. Ball into the box, still onside. Niskan and it's across and just wide of the post from Kaya. The substitution's almost paying off for Thomas Orell. Once again, chance after chance now. Another really interesting phase to end this half, just as we saw at the end of the first half. Kaya that time. We've had Niskan and and Kaya now both glancing shots across the face of the goal. A good contact could have led to something different. Stefan Kuczka, the captain, got the experience and the nous to take this one down to the corner flag. Wins the free kick for his side. Wins the throw in for his side, sorry, as well. It's exactly what he wanted, the number 30, Stefan Kuczka. Just to let the clock tick away. Time running out for Unterhacking. Ingolstadt by now will definitely feel they should have killed off the game. Unterhacking will feel by now that they definitely should have levelled up. Header onwards. Nieskan and throws himself at it. Keeper Jörg Coppens comes away with the ball instead though. Looking for some movement up front. Coppens puts it down himself. Telling his teammates to get forward. Coppens still advancing. Why not? Into the 90th minute we go now. And that's a poor clearance from Coppins. And he's going to have to win this follow-up. And he does. Not great play. But they've got away with it. Kanija Elva heads it forward. Kaya looked as though he was offside. But Schwabel keeps possession. Fought into hacking. Felix Schröter chases that one. Not had much of an impact, the striker for Unterhacking. They look more dangerous in the first half. Ingolstadt now, another counter. Kanija Elva. Chance to run up against Marcus Schwabel. And he's got to be careful, Schwabel, on the yellow card. Elva, ball across the box. So many options in the area. And they find the one red shirt in the way. What an exciting game this has been. It's going to be a cheap corner, is it? Schwabel saves it. But this is exactly where Unterhacking don't need to be as we enter injury time at the end of 90 minutes. Far too much of a connection on the ball for Murray Heinrich. Schwabel had to give it everything just to keep that one in play. Looks like another substitution are lining up. Bit of a time-wasting one you'd expect. The ball's flicked across. Kaya. Didn't get much on the end of it. Kaya threw his arms up in frustration. He knows he should have killed off this game for Ingolstadt already. A long ball. Straw Engel. He's onside and he's picked that one up. Three or four players in the box now in red shirts. Schwabe. Chance to whip one in. Who's on the end of it? Just white shirts. Schröter will pick this one up though. Another chance. Schröter lofted into the box. Schwabe. Good pressure from the home side. Low ball, corner kick Unterhacking. We're still going here at the Sport Park in Unterhacking. Schwabel rushing over. The captain trying to inspire his team. Both teams playing without key players today. Both teams with injuries in the side, but they've given it everything. What will be the final result? Can Unterhacking grab anything from it? The keeper's up, everybody's up. Back out to Schwabel. Another one to whip into the box. Corner or goal kick. Big decision coming up. Goal kick it is, says Jonas Weikenmeyer. And that might be that. Didn't see how many minutes were given. How many minutes were added on.
Stefan Kuchka couldn't add to his six goals today. Bit of a frustrating day for Stefan Kuchka, but he's done his job. A late substitution. It's the defender, the Austrian. Antonic coming on to play out the final few seconds because that is all that's left. Nico Antonic, that says it all. Centre back on for the striker. What else do you do at 1 0 up in extra time? Kanija Elva is space on the left. Doesn't get a free kick though. Unter hacking. Maybe with one last chance if they can create something quickly. Coppens has to lash it forward. Unter hacking need a head on the end of it. And it's Ingolstadt who win the knockdown. And tired legs out there now. Schwabel. He's been high intensity all day long, Schwabel. But can the captain inspire his team to get something out of the game? Great block from Ingolstadt. Impressive stuff from Kaya. But it's gone out. For a hacking throw in. Last seconds of the game, this. The last roll of the dice. Schwabel just has to whack it into the box. Paulsen up and away. Real drama here in the third division in Germany. Exciting stuff. Kanija Elva. He's been a sure foot on the ball ever since he's come on. Kaya with a chance to waste some time going forwards here. Takes it up against the defender. Still got the ball. Men over as well. Cut out, you guessed it, by Marcus Schwabel. He has been everywhere. He's taken a stop for breath. What more could Marcus Schwabel do today? Giving it everything. Grauschopf takes time to launch one forward. That must be that, you'd expect. Fabian Buntic picks up the ball in goal for Ingolstadt. Is there anything left? in this dramatic game. One goal just doesn't do it justice. So many chances, so much action. It wasn't a great goal kick to finish it by Fabian Buntic, but it is enough for Ingolstadt. They go joint top with the victory. A really exciting encounter we've had here at the Stadion Am Sportpark in Unterhaking. Eight games without a win for the home side. A vital Precious three points for Ingolstadt as they push up back into the promotion places. It's decided by Kayubi's early goal. 11 minutes into the game. Chance after chance for both sides. Unter hacking through everything they had to get something out of the game. They come out empty-handed. It's finished here. Unter hacking nil. Ingolstadt won in a dramatic encounter. That's done the third division of German football absolute justice we hope you've enjoyed the coverage today wherever you're watching it's been a really exciting encounter but a bitter ending for unter hacking those home players in the red shirts no reward for all of their efforts but delight for ingolstadt and the coach thomas oral they pick up their 11th victory of the season and they move up to the top aria van lent there the coach of unter hacking has to reflect on a 13th defeat of the campaign Things are looking very, very difficult for Unterhacking. But a great showing display today. They battled for every ball. They were, in the end, defeated by the solo goal from Kayubi returning to the Ingolstadt starting lineup. Thanks a lot for joining us here on match day 22 of the third division in Germany. We hope to see you next time for some more third division action.